Hey, what's happening everybody? Wanted to come at you with a quick follow-up video on the FN509C midsize MRD FDE. I know it's a mouthful. Basically, this is a companion video to my one from a few weeks ago where I did the unboxing when I got it from the FFL. So I've been to the range and I put hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it, full metal jacket, uh, hollow points, like my carry ammo, all that crap and I've been carrying it now for a few weeks so I just wanted to do a quick follow-up so let's get started so this is primarily how I've been carrying it this is this will be a separate review video so if you want to stay tuned I've just been had this bag for about a month but this is by I think it's Vitos is how you say it it's their um, like compact sling bag um, anyway this is primarily how I've been carrying the FN so open it up you can see it's in this little compartment, and I've got, this is a Maxpedition uh, holster that it's in, and there's a dual mag pouch in there as well. So when you pull the sling bag around, unzip this real quick, it's kind of like sits right here on your chest or stomach. But that's not what this video is about. It's about this guy. So let's get this guy safe, because it's not. All right, now it's safe. Yep, and it's about this guy. FN 509 midsize, midsize MRD modular red dot because it's, you can put an optic on it uh, um, in flat dark earth. So been to the range, like I said, and uh, really happy with it. What can you say? It's a polymer striker fired gun. It shoots like you would expect one to shoot. Uh, the trigger is um, it's nothing to write home about, but it's a great combat trigger. Um, as you can see, the gun is clear. Uh, it's got kind of a, a gritty, a little bit stiff take up, but it's it's nice. It's a hinge trigger, not a uh, trigger like say on a Glock where you have the the uh, pin or the little lever. It's in, uh, indented into the trigger that gets depressed. This is more of like your Smith and Wesson style, which I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but it actually it's fine. You don't even notice it. Again. Uh, very defined wall, and then I'm gonna say like maybe six or seven pound uh, break. The reset is very nice, very short and crisp, and then you straight back to that wall and break. It's a good combat trigger. Um, I was able to produce very good groups with it, shoot very quickly with it. Uh, no complaints. Um, it, it was great. I really have no complaints about the gun. Shot flawlessly, probably 500 rounds or so through it. Shot, shot great. Uh, the, the sights, they are high sights because they co-witness with uh, your red dot if you have them on there. I didn't find a problem with, uh, with adjusting to having suppressor height or high sights. I was able to produce really accurate groups, super close in or all the way out to around 20 yards. Uh, it, they were just, they were spot on. One thing I did do is, um, if you can see here, is I put some white paint on the front, which gives you like a contrast with these. Let me get some, uh, maybe a little darker background. As you can see, that's hard to do, there we go. Um, that helps a lot, I found that helps a lot. And it, it comes off, if paint thinner, if I ever don't want it on there, it came off, so that's just a tip. Uh, I did pair it with the Olight uh, PL Mini 2. Um, really, really nice light and it's very affordable. I want to say it was less than 100 bucks. It's like 600 lumens or something crazy like that. Um, and it fit this perfectly. And it's this is FDE, but it's more of a brown as you can see. But it's fine. Uh, it's It's been great. The, the, uh, the 509 itself, this is, it's, it's great, fantastic grip. Um, I didn't have any problems uh, with you know a slide locking back or um, not locking back because of accidentally depressing this. They give you this like cage around it, um, but regardless from where my hand position is, and I've got a medium-sized hand, uh, it was it was perfect. 
No, like I said, no flaws. I have the medium back strap on here, which is what it came with. I didn't feel the need to put the small one on there, but if you have smaller hands, that's an option for you. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, all I can say is it was great. Uh, it, it shot like you would expect it to shoot. I did purchase some spare mags. Uh, it's one thing you may find when you get outside of the popular handguns, your Glocks and your M&Ps and whatnot, is that Reli or not reliability, availability of um, your spare parts and accessories is a little bit off, but just quick search online and I was able to find uh, the uh, 17 round. This is for the full size and some of the sleeves that go on it. So as you can see, this they didn't have any of the FDE sleeves, so I just got it in black. But if you insert that in, it now gives you 17 rounds and a full grip like you would have on the regular FN 509. So that's another option for you. Gun is still clear. Uh, otherwise, the 15 rounders that come with it sit flush and that's, you know, perfect, the perfect length. It gives you a full grip. Um, this gun is also available in, I believe, a, a compact or subcompact, I think they call it, which gives you an even shorter grip and then you would buy sleeves to use the 15 or 17 round magazines in it but again this is the mid-size i'm gonna still clear uh yeah i i don't know what else to say this is just going to be a, a quick follow-up companion video if you want to know the specs look at my video i did a couple weeks ago when i got home from the ffl and i unboxed it i went through all the specs nothing has changed um you know the gun it shot like I would want it to shoot, and it was super fun. You know, if it's something you're thinking about, uh, pull the trigger, I mean, no pun intended, just pull the trigger and, and try it out. Uh, I know it's 2020, ammunition and guns are really hard to come by right now. Uh, I was, like I think I mentioned in the other video, I was looking for a Glock 19X, and what I was gonna do is get the 19X, and I was gonna chop the grip down to the regular 19 size, uh, and go basically it was going to create something like this but this was available online uh from an ffl that it's a mail order ffl or not mail order but a, an online ffl that their showroom is close to my house so i just clicked buy it now and drove down there and picked it up and i had the gun so check them out there's they're they're out there um it's pro probably one of the guns that's more readily available because you know, people may not think to to look at, at you know this this particular manufacturer or whatnot, but you can't go wrong with FN. Um, the one thing I will say is that I did change out the striker. So this gun is, appears to be having some issues with strikers breaking, a la P Sig the P365 maybe. However, FN doesn't seem to be really addressing it, and I wasn't sure if it was an issue or not, just based on reading different forums and online posts, it seems to be a problem. So I put an Apex stainless steel striker in here right from the get-go. It was, I ordered it when I ordered the gun, it showed up a few days later. I put it in here, it's a very simple installation procedure, no you know, special tools required. Five minutes later, you have a stainless steel striker um, that ran flawless. So I have the factory striker in the package as a spare part that hopefully will never be used. Um, so that's one thing to consider, I would say, if you're looking at these guns, is they appear to have maybe some issues with strikers breaking. However, there are people that are saying they've run thousands and thousands of rounds through theirs with no issues, and there are people who are saying they only ran a couple hundred rounds through them, or there are people that are even saying they dry fired it when they got home and something was rattling around. FN has been very good, it seems, at replacing them, but I just didn't want to go there for 50 bucks. I could get a stainless steel striker that appears to be bulletproof, and uh, hopefully it will remain that way. So that is the only caveat I would say to this gun. If that bothers you, then, you know, it may be an issue. It didn't bother me. Um, I have no problem working on firearms, and I have no problem addressing uh, little idiosyncrasies with them, so I think I have resolved any issues that would potentially come up with the gun. So other than that, check out my other video if you want to see the unboxing and what it came with and all that jazz, uh, but you know, here it is. Uh, real quick, the two other ways I am carrying it are Kydex holsters. 
Both of these came quick ship. This one was from Insane Kydex Creations and it is a light bearing holster for the Olight. And it is cut for an RMR if I ever need it in the future. Retention is amazing. Quality is amazing. Um, it came within a few days. It was a quick ship on their website. It wasn't, it didn't have to be custom made. Uh, really great quality. Um, the other is, um, this is by FDO, bought it on Amazon. I have a bunch of these holsters in different many, or different gun models. Uh, and as usual, FDO holsters are great. This one is not light bearing, so let me take that off real quick. This one is an FDE. Again, it came Amazon Prime, so I got it the next day. And quality is great, retention is very good. Um, so two holster options for you to consider. So if you're worried about you're gonna buy a gun that's not a super popular Glock 19 and not be able to find accessories, I had both of these holsters within a few days. So they're out there. You're gonna have a hard time in 2020 finding ammunition, trust me. <laughs> And the Olight PL Mini, um, so far I'm really happy with it. It's rechargeable. Um, I just carry their cable around with me in the bag and, um, you know, it seems to be working great. So that's that. The FN 509 midsize MRD in FDE. Go check it out. Highly recommended. You guys be safe, have fun, and, um, Comment, like, um, and we can chat about it. Talk to you guys soon.